Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jager262 with another World of Tanks video. Now, I did launch another YouTube channel, so content here is going to trickle out a little bit slower now, but I will still be making videos here. That channel is dedicated to scale modeling. That is any conventional modeling I do, like aircraft, armor, uh, includes Gunpla, Warhammer, anything. It's part of my Instagram and business, The Modeling Edge. So just separating the two channels so that I can just make video game content here. If you're interested in any of those things, please go check out the channel. I love the support. But if you're just here to see me play games, that's great. I will be making videos here indefinitely into the future just at a slower pace. And the reason I say that is because I know I've been promising to have this video out since the black market event. And I just haven't gotten around to recording it. But... Nonetheless, here is the BTSV Russia Special Tier 3 Premium Light Tank. This is part of the Alpha Starter Packs, and I know I covered this in a previous video, I just can't remember which one, but in case anybody hasn't seen that video, this is the first time you're hearing about it. This was part of a three-set bundle, or I should say it was a bundle to get into the Alpha Test. You had three options, a light tank, a medium tank, and a heavy tank. This is the light tank. The Panzer IV Hydrostat at Tier 5 is the medium, and then the M6A2E1 Mutant was the Tier 8 Heavy Tank option. All of these used to be really strong and unique. After all the new vehicles and balancing changes that have happened over the years since, um, I think this game has been running now for t 10 years, they are not that overpowered or even that great in performance anymore. They still hold their own and they're still doing just fine, but they're not quite as powerful as they used to be. But they are just as rare, and if you watch the Black Market video, just as expensive to acquire now as they were originally, and that is because they are highly sought after collector's items. Few people have one of these vehicles, few have all three, and I was lucky enough to get all three through Black Market events and tank festivals. Um, it took me a long time, I'm playing this game six years, so at the very least four years to finally collect all of these vehicles, the BTSV being the last one and the hardest to get. But very happy to have them, but if you don't have any of them, don't worry. They are more collector's items now than anything else, and you're not actually missing out on anything gameplay-wise. So before I get into gameplay, just to back up that point, I've decided to do the normal thing compared to other light tanks. However, I'm only comparing it to other Tier 3 premiums as... I think it is more powerful than some light tanks at Tier 3 in progression, and of course because of the change in just power creeping meta that they've been implementing over the course of time, way worse. So I feel like this is a fairly stable comparison that'll actually mean a lot more than if I just put all the Tier 3 light tanks on the board and just looked at it. Which you can see here, it compares almost identically to the other two Russian premiums I have, which is the T-127 and the T-116. And it's only slightly better or worse, depending on the category, than the other two offerings, such as the PZT-15 and the Locus. So first things first, average damage per shot is 47, across the board for all Russian premium light tanks at this tier. Better than the PZT-15 or 15 and better than the Locus. Average penetration is 51, that is worse than the Locus, but better than the PZT-15, and again, same for the other two Russian vehicles. Rate of fire is 26 rounds per minute, which is actually worse than everything but the Locust. So the T127, the T116, and the PZT15 all have a high rate of fire, but as you can see, not by much. Those first two vehicles only having one shot per minute more. Its 2.29 second reload is worse again than the T127 or the PZT15. Better than the Locust, and only slightly worse than the T16. So slight, it's pretty much the same reload time. Gun Traverse is 41 degrees per second. The 47 degrees that the T127 gets is the best in class. It's worse than the PZT15, but again, better than the T116 and the Locust. The gun depression only gets negative 4 degrees because of that weird hole. It does get 22 degrees of elevation. That's worse in both cases than the T127, worse than the PZT-15, and the Locust, which get 10 degrees of depression, and of course the T116 also just gets a minus 5. Aim time is 1.64, that's the best. This thing can snap onto targets really quick. Now if you look at the other ones, they're all about 1.9, or just under 2 seconds. 
So it's not giving you that much of an advantage over them, but it is going to be able to hit a target a lot faster. It has the best dispersion at 100 meters of 0 0.39. And average damage per minute is well, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, which is only worse than the T127 by a few. Not even that much. Only, what, 53? It has a survivability of 8. Obviously, none of these are going to have very good survivability at tier 3. But it does get 240 hit points, worse than the T127 and the PZT15 and the Locust. But for some reason, better than the T116. I don't know why they just didn't give that one that many hit points. Hull armor is 25, 20, and 16. So that's 25 at the front, 20 at the side, 16 in the rear. That's almost the same as the Locust. Obviously, it has better side and rear armor there. And it's way better than the T116. Worse than the T127, I had no idea it got 40, 30, and 30. Uh, same thing on the turret armor, and this one gets 25 for the turret on all sides. Worse than the PZT-15, same as the Locust, and better than the T116, so at least it's a little bit more heavily armored. So those angles do help. In most situations, you can bounce any tier 2 round, I think, as long as you angle it properly, it's going to bounce. I mean, those slopes are crazy good. Has a good power to weight ratio, engine power 500, best in class. It's a very rapid tank. The only tank that comes close to it, and it's still off by almost 200, is the T116. Specific power is 38.14, so you're going to get to the top speed of 62 kilometers an hour. Wait, is that a cell speed? Yeah, very quickly. It is slower than the Locust, but like I said, it's going to get there fast and be able to maintain it, and it can go reverse at 20, which all of these with the T127 can as well. And then finally, concealment. It's stationary 19%, that's worse than the Locust, but about the same for every other one. Slightly better than the T127 and PZT15. Spotting, it gets a view range of 289 meters. It's the worst one here besides the Locust, and signal range is 313, which is the worst. Yeah, no, actually the T16 or the T116 is worse, and the PC-15 gets an amazing 741 meters and an amazing 350 meter view range. It's kind of ridiculous. But the point of this comparison is to show you that it is neither way better than or way worse than any of the other premium tank offerings. Everything you see here besides this T116 that was one of the Christmas event vehicles, you can get in store. So truly is a collector's item. Not going to give you a crazy advantage. If you see it on the battlefield, don't worry about it. It would be the same as engaging any of these vehicles. Just remember that when you see it, there are places on its hull to aim. So when you look at it this way, try to aim for this spot on the lower plate or to aim on either of these windows. Don't shoot directly at it and don't try to shoot it through these parts on the cheeks because it'll just fly right off because of these angles. If you see it sideways, just shoot it in the turret. Don't bother shooting it in the side really anywhere and then of course the rear anything up here is going to penetrate it. so when you see it it'll be going incredibly fast it's the fastest tier 3 premium and you might get a little bit confused and just miss a couple of shots trying to get into any kind of angle so that way it doesn't flank you but if you just remember where to shoot it it'll be the same as engaging any other light tank these are really just collector's items that being said I do have a crazy amount of fun with this and I cannot wait to show you guys some videos. But first thing before we get into videos, the reason I have APCR loaded on is that it just gives us 84 millimeters of penetration, 100 meters, which is better than the 51, obviously. And it's faster, so it'll hit more targets, and I can really use that aim time. I've been playing a few rounds with it without APCR, and most of the other players I see in this vehicle always carry it. There's no reason not to. It's really inexpensive at Tier 3, so if you do have this vehicle, I recommend running at least some APCR rounds in it because you will need them, especially if you see another one of these. If you're in a BTSV, you just want to shoot for the profile I just showed you, but even then you're only going to penetrate maybe 60% of those shots, even if you're hitting right on target. So just be aware of that, and let's get into some gameplay. All right, on Himmel's door in an all tier three match. So, well, let me preload my APCRs. And I'm just gonna go hill, and we'll see what happens. Even going up this hill, still hitting about 50 odd oops, kilometers. 
that is something I don't think I mentioned, and thanks for hitting me. Oh my god, thanks for just ruining my whole fucking life. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but this thing not only looks like a boat, but thanks to its traverse values, it turns like one, and that's what helps keep the speed of this vehicle balanced properly. Um, it is incredibly hard to turn at top speed. Other than that, uh, I think it's a pretty decent vehicle all around. The only thing is that its gun is not the most accurate in the world, but no Russian tanks ever is. Right? Not see anything over this wall. And, yeah, no gun depression either. And that's a miss. Yeah, I don't know why I'm sniping with the light tank. That's generally never a good idea to be doing that. So, yeah, there's some miss again. Hit. And hit. I am going to chase this T-46 down. Ooh. Hard, so hard to turn, but, dang, S35 just waiting for me, I think. Oh, we have artillery support, maybe. No, we don't. Somebody's firing high explosive support. Not a thing, but it's happening, so. Thanks to gold, we live to fight another day. Thanks, gold. Or, I, I guess it's not called gold rounds anymore. They're just, what, premium rounds or special? Special ammunition? Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. We know what it used to be. It used to be gold. Missed every single shot there. Okay. I'm gonna go finish off this U76. Who's, I think I'm the only guy who can get to him in time. Thanks to my top speed. Of just light speed, I guess. Ah, missed. Got him. Alright, not bad. Two kills, 127 damage. You saw we bounced some shells, but not all of them. That's typically how this goes. Alrighty, so second game. Tier 4 matchup. Not a lot of them, so... I'm not sure what I'll do. There's a couple of tank destroyers, so I'm not just going to rush the field. Not that you should ever rush the field, but I feel like as a tier 3 light tank that's this fast, that's probably the most fun thing to do. At least. I mean, why not just push your luck, you know? Still don't have a handle on how this thing turns for some reason. You'll notice that, which I guess they're really supposed to do, because they're just APCR, but in case I didn't point it out, they do the same amount of damage as the AP rounds. Damn, a lot of people have repair kits for tier 3. It's odd. But they do the same damage, they just fly faster, and, or I should say travel faster. I guess they're flying, technically. Whatever and give you better penetration values. Just more bang for your buck, pretty much. But they won't actually do more damage, unfortunately. That'd be cool, though. They're not heat rounds. Yeah, poor guy kept getting tracked. 
Alright, their heavy tank did not play the typical heavy position. As you can see, I can't really penetrate him. So... Can't even penetrate him with my... Or... Yeah. I keep wanting to say premium rounds. They're not premium. They're just special. Really, you're gonna want to wait for this thing to aim in every time you fire it, because boy, is it hard to stay on the target. This Panzer III is giving my team business, so oh, I'm getting flanked. I don't. Oh, got hit by the Valentine. I'll save some gold rounds for him because I don't really need them to engage this guy. Great. I cannot believe that just hit. I can't believe it didn't penetrate, but... Alright. That was not a good trade, because he did 122 damage to me. But, got that kill. Yeah, you can kind of see this tank's fun to play. It's by no means, like I showed you in the uh, comparison, a stellarly OP vehicle compared to other light tanks. It's pretty much just any normal tier 3 light tank plays exactly the same way this one will. Uh, it's just fun. It's just fun to be able to say you have one of these rare... That's not nice. This guy's... I don't know what he's doing. Ooh. What a jerk. Hey, there's that Valentine. Causing problems for me. Per the usual. Now I can't go flanking like I wanted to, because he's just watching me. I hope he chases me. I hope he takes the bait. Because there's no way I'm going to engage him. I don't know. Come on, special ammunition. Wow, he got so much closer, so much faster than I wanted him to. I thought these things were supposed to be slow. Ah, uh, he's got a fast reload too. Ah, and he's using gold. I mean, special, whatever. Sorry guys. It's gold ammunition to me, always will be. Uh, almost 700 damage at tier 3. Not terrible. Obviously I'm not a stellar light tank player, but... Doing pretty okay in this thing. I hope they end up killing that Valentine, but oh, they definitely will. Already got him. Oh well, looks like that'll be another win. This is BTSB. So again, not terrible, not great, not bad. Exactly the kind of tank I want. Just fun. Alrighty. Uh, what's the name of this province? Actually, I use I hate getting this map nowadays because they balanced it all the way out to I think tier 10, which is just stupid in my opinion. But this is actually supposed to be a tier 2, tier 3 light map or tier 2, tier 3 map. So pretty great. I don't want to overexpose myself and go too far, but I do want to start spotting people as they cross over. And another tier 4 matchup. Still only one heavy tank. It's the Type 95, so it's not exactly a powerful heavy. And it's not even on our side of the map, so it's like a win-win already. Even at these tiers, players are smart enough to stay in cover. Except for this Type 95, who I don't think knows that he's spotted. Oh wow, there's another BTSV. Ooh. Oh man, I want to kill him. I want to kill him. Yeah, 
using covered all the time. Alright, so this team of Rooks have decided to just just go for it uh, over here. And rush, so yeah, I'm gonna rush with them. Shit, why not? Ow. Do not know the Coven Tower is that powerful. Don't auto aim when you're in a life or death situation like that. It's a quick way to just die. Oh god, now I'm getting rushed. Check me, god. Uh, why did I rush with those guys? That was so dumb. I don't have the firepower or rate of fire to match them. But they're holding the line. Oh, no, they're not. This guy's gonna do it though for us. Yeah, look at that Valentine. He's just taking one for the team. So this is probably gonna be a uh, win. Yeah, <laughs> the PZ one. I just said totally outgunned in the chat. Yeah, I agree. You were totally outgunned. Bad rush. Um, but we're winning, so hopefully that's a win. That's the last game. Sorry I messed it up so bad. Um, <laughs> should have been a good last game, but oh well. So far, really actually enjoying the BTS game. I hope you're enjoying this gameplay. Probably not. There's not a lot of actions happening, but fun all around, in my opinion. Alright, so good news is, that was a victory, it was a 15-5 to 5 knockout, which is great, because I was one of the five, so, awesome. I was uh, one of the unlucky bad players to just absolutely die because I overplayed myself. But, good news is, it wasn't for nothing, I was able to get the medal for, what is it, cool-headed or something, when you just survive a bunch of ricochets in a row on really low HP. So... Like I said, not for nothing, some people when they see this thing don't really know how to respond to it, so they will end up missing or ricocheting a lot of shots off of your hull because they don't know where the weak spots are, which again, if you do come across one of these things, you're going to want to shoot it here, in the turret, on the side, in the turret, or right around where this box is. Now don't shoot at this box, but just in this area, or this one, and you see how it kind of slopes, gets a little bit flatter, sort of, not really. Just remember that, and you'll be able to take these out pretty easily. Final impressions on the vehicle, um, just fun. Again, if you missed it in this black market, I don't know when it'll be offered again, and if it is just like the Hydrostat or the Mutant, they're usually offered in single bundles for a ridiculous amount of money, way more than they're actually worth. So just remember, it's more of a collector's vehicle than anything. Very fun to play. I'm so happy to have one but not any better or worse than any of the other premium light tanks offered at this tier. It plays almost identical to all of them with the exception of speed. And, you know, it's just nice. It's nice to have. I'm happy I have it, and I hope you guys enjoy this review. But if you don't have it, don't worry. So as always, please subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to get notified when I make more World of Tanks videos or reviews. I will be doing, I believe, the Mutz next followed by the Mutant and the Hydrostat to cover up those. And I think this... Yeah, because I only got this and the Mutz in the Black Market video. So, at least three more videos coming out. And then after that, as always, let me know in the comment section below what tanks you want to see me play next, or just any kind of topics or ideas you would like to see me do. And I will keep you updated on events and news until you guys tell me not to and just to stick to gameplay. So... Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you next time, and I hope to see you guys in the battlefield.